The article begins by introducing the main character. It says Sophie Hatter expects to have a boring life. Sophie Hatter is our story's main character, 也就是主角。她觉得她的一生呢，应该都会平凡无奇的度过，不会有什么特别的事发生。But why does she think like this? The article explains. In Hungary, it's traditional that a family's oldest daughter never has any fun.、Huh. So Hungary is the country where Sophie lives, right? That's right. Next, let's take a look at the adjective traditional. Something that's traditional has been done for a long time by a culture, by a family, or even by a person. We could say that it's traditional in Taiwan to give red envelopes to children at Chinese New Year. Things that are called traditional are traditions. T R A D I T I O N with an S. Traditions. Traditional 这个形容词呢是传统的。那 tradition 就是个名词，代表传统。那在 Hungary 的传统是啊，家中的重担会落在长女的身上。长女要继承家业哦，所以长女的生活一点也不好玩。Those poor eldest daughters,、mm -hmm. they never have any fun in Hungary. In that last sentence, we also used a kind of noun clause. The pattern is: it is followed by an adjective, followed by that, and then there's a subject and a verb to make the clause we're describing with the adjective. So in the article, we used: it's traditional that a family's oldest daughter never has any fun. Another example could be: it's surprising that Kevin didn't join us for dinner. This sentence is. It 这个虚主词加上 be 动词，再加上形容词，最后再加上 that 所带出的名词短句。我们说呢 ，it 是个虚主词。那真主词在哪里呢？真主词啊，就是 that 所带出的名词短句。但因为太长了，所以往句尾摆。所以回到文章中的句子 ，In Hungary, it's traditional that a family's oldest daughter never has any fun. 这一句。也可以改写成 In Hungary, that a family's oldest daughter never has any fun is traditional. 有没有觉得主词太长了呢？就是这个原因，我们才将主词啊用 it 代替。Sophie's life isn't going to be boring, though, as the article says. However, everything changes when the witch of the wastes turns Sophie into an old woman. A witch is a woman, or almost always a woman, who can use magic to cast spells. There are lots of different kinds of witches in stories, but we usually think of kind of older women, ugly ones with a black cat and a flying broom. Witch 就是女巫啦。Sophie is an old woman now because the witch of the wastes turns her into one. The witch of the wastes. 中文的名称是荒地女巫。Okay, so she's now something else because to turn something into another thing means to make that thing change its shape. She turns her into an old woman. Here we're talking about doing it by magic, turning someone into something. In the real world, we could also talk about things like turning an old building into a fancy coffee shop or something like that. To turn A into B 代表的就是将 A 转变为 B。那我们的荒女荒地女巫呢，把 Sophie 变成一位老太太。What should Sophie do now? The article says Sophie goes to Howell, the powerful wizard, to ask him to break the spell. So wizards are similar to witches, but they're almost always men. The usual idea of a wizard is an old man with a long beard and a pointed hat, like Gandalf or Merlin. But of course, Harry Potter and his friends are wizards. 我们刚刚说呢 ，witch 是女巫，那男巫呢？我们要说 wizard。像哈利波特、甘道夫，他们都是 wizards。故事当中啊 ，Sophie 向 Howard 求救，希望他可以帮忙 break the spell。Break the spell 是解除魔咒的意思。我们也可以说 lift the spell、mm。-hmm. 那如果是施咒、下咒，要怎么说呢？我们可以说 cast the spell， 或者是 put a spell on somebody。Sophie goes to Howell, right? Yes. This is the same Howell in the title of the book, right? Yes, and as we can guess, Howell lives in a moving castle that floats in the air. 
To float means to stay on the surface, usually of water without going under, or to stay in the middle of the air without falling down. So we could say wood floats on water, or the helicopter floated in the air for a few minutes before flying off. Float 这个动词呢，就是漂浮的意思。那 Howard 住在一个漂浮在空中的移动城堡里头。So is he willing to help Sophie? Well, we see in the article that Howell is too busy chasing women to help Sophie. Ah,、oh, two two 的句型，同学们还记得吗 ？Howell 太忙着追女孩子，以至于不能。帮 Sophie 的忙 ，That's not very helpful. No. We also see that instead she makes a deal with Calcifer, Howell's fire demon. Oh, interesting. Now in that sentence we use the adverb instead to show that something is different. Maybe someone changed their mind, or what we thought would happen didn't happen at all. It's like saying not one thing but something else. If you normally drink tea in the morning. But change to coffee, we'd say I had coffee instead of tea today. Now, instead can go in the middle of a sentence, like the one I just gave, or at the start. Instead of tea, I had coffee this morning. Instead can also go at the end. For example, this morning I didn't have tea; I had coffee instead. Instead 这个副词呢，它的意思是啊，取而代之，或是而不是，可以放在句首或句尾。那刚刚 Pat 提到的 instead of， 它是一个介系词片语，后面呢只能加名词或动名词了。那回到文章，我们说到啊，好，我没有办法帮 Sophie， 取而代之的是呢 ，Sophie 跟 Calcifer， 也就是 Howell 的 Fire Demon 达成了协议。What's a Fire Demon? So a demon is a kind of evil spirit. They often don't have real bodies, but they can get inside other things and control them. A fire demon is one that takes the shape of fire and has magic that relates to fire and heat. Now, in some stories, demons aren't always evil, but we often think of a demon as an evil thing. Demon, 中文我们说是魔鬼。那 fire demon 就是所谓的火魔。那火魔呢，它是没有身形的。然后呢，它是拥有与火相关的魔法。But I'm not sure if making deal with a demon is a good idea. It depends what the deal is. We see in the article that in order to survive, Calcifer is forced to work for Howl and lend Howl his magic. So. We see that Howell and Calcifer already have a deal. Now let's explain this deal a bit by looking at the verb lend. If you lend something to someone, you let them have it and use it for a fixed time, then they give it you back. We often talk about lending people books or other things. One of the more obvious uses, though, is something like Mike lent his friend Samuel one thousand NT dollars until the end of next week. And because he's lent it, this means Samuel has to pay him back. Lend, 它是一个收语动词，代表借出，将某物借出给我，没给某个人，我们可以说 lend something to somebody， 或者是 lend somebody something. For example, I lent an umbrella to Pat yesterday. 我也可以说 I lent Pat an umbrella yesterday. 那 borrow 这个字呢，它就是借入，所以我还可以说 Pat borrowed an umbrella from me yesterday.、Mm -hmm. 回到故事呢，火魔卡西法为了生存，被迫为这个 Howell 工作，并借出魔法给 Howell. So the deal is that Calcifer works for Howell、mm -hmm. and lets Howell use his magic. And in return, Calcifer can survive. Of course, as a demon, he doesn't have a body, so he needs something to help. Now, this is good, but it does mean Calcifer isn't free. We see in the article that if Sophie can break the contract between Howell and Calcifer, Calcifer will help Sophie. Okay, and make her a young woman again. Got it. So. We talk about a contract. Howell and Calcifer have a contract. This is a formal agreement between two or more people, two or more companies, or people and companies. A contract is usually written and explains what everyone who agrees to it has to do, what they can't do, and so on. 
If you break a contract, you often have to pay a fee or receive a punishment. For example, my work contract says that I have to work 40 hours a week for my company. Contract 这个名词呢是契约、合约。那签订契约怎么说呢？我们用 sign 这个字 ，sign a contract。回到文章，如果 Sophie 可以打破 Howard 跟火魔卡西法之间的约定，火魔卡西法就会帮助 Sophie。So the contract here is Calcifer's deal with Howard. That's right. They've made a formal agreement. However, Calcifer wants to get out of it because he isn't free. If this happens, he can help Sophie. So, how can Sophie break their contract? That's a good question. We see in the article that, unfortunately, Calcifer can't tell Sophie what to do since that's in the contract too. The adverb "unfortunately" just means that something is due to bad luck, or it's bad, sad, or troublesome in some way. It's not good that Calcifer's contract means he can't tell Sophie. What she needs to do. Unfortunately, 这个副词就是不幸的。那如果是幸运的，我们会说 fortunately， 也就是把自首的 u n 拿掉就可以了。那不幸的是呢，在跟 Howard 的契约里面，火魔卡西法是不能够告诉 Sophie 该怎么做的。As the article says, she'll have to figure it out for herself. To figure something out means to find the answer to a question or solve a problem. If you figure something out for yourself, this means no one helps you. You get the answer on your own. To figure something out 就是想出弄懂某事 Sophie 得自己想出办法 It won't be easy to figure out this problem. Very true. The article says to gain time, Sophie becomes Hal's cleaning lady.、Mm. The verb gain means to get something that you want. It is similar to get, but the difference is we say you can get bad things, you can get a disease, you can get punished, and so on. But gain is always good. For example,、uh, Alan gained a lot of experience during his part-time job. In this case, Sophie wants to gain time, so get more time to figure out how to free Calcifer from his deal, his contract with Howell. Gain 这个动词是获得、增加，那后面多半接的都是好的东西。为了要得到更多的时间呢、啊、，Sophie 去当 Howell 的清洁人员。She can work in Howell's castle, and if she works in Howell's moving castle, Howell may actually help her himself. That's possible. We also see that something strange is happening. The article says she, so Sophie, discovers she has magic. Of her own. Wow! We also learn that she can talk to objects and turn them into living things. Whoa! This is an amazing magic power to have. This means she can talk to a pen, and suddenly the pen will come alive, and then it will be able to write things itself. Think of all the things in the castle in Beauty and the Beast.、Oh. It's like that. Will they sing too? Maybe, but. That is where we're going to have to leave day one for now, as it's time to go to today's for you chat question.